I've only had the moon for a month. I got the moon for a month and a month and a half. No, I got on it. <laughs> <laughs> Montalus back in the cut to another video. Cheers! And today we're gonna to be talking about braces and my life experience with braces and how it's been with braces now that I've had braces on for about a month. You know what I'm saying? Everything you need to do, everything you shouldn't do, I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Before the video continues, make sure you subscribe, make sure that like button, make sure you comment down below of what you guys thought of the video. I'd love to know. So Ever since year seven, yeah, ever since year seven, I've always need. I think I've always need. I've always needed braces. Like, there's not been a point in my life where I've been like, oh yeah, I don't need braces. It's always been a factor where like I've always needed braces, and it's taken so long. Like, I'm in college now. I'm old. I've always needed braces. And I've just got them like a month ago, 2019 December. I got my pair of braces. But year seven to like year nine, I can't remember the last time we signed up for the for the um. You have to sign up for like a register, so you you know what I'm you get booked. To have your braces fitted. I can't remember the last time we did it. It must have been like year nine, year eight. I'm not joking because I've needed braces for so long, and the, the fact that it's taken so long is crazy because I've been I've just been thinking about having nice teeth for long. Like you know, what I'm saying I always like everybody that has nice teeth, I look at their teeth and be like, yo, I want nice teeth because my teeth weren't mash up, not mash up, but they just weren't straight. You know what I'm saying? They weren't the nicest teeth. You know what I'm saying I wasn't getting the nicest gal. You know what I'm saying it was a bit crazy. But but now that our base is on, you know what I'm saying? Looking a bit sweet, you know what I'm saying? Really crazy. It's taken so long. We've been on the waiting list for about three to two years. No, two to two to three years. We've been on the waiting list. The waiting list. I can't speak. We've been on the waiting list for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? So I've waited a very long time. I should have got these back in school. So back in December 2019, the 11th of December, you know what I'm saying? Three days after my birthday, I got my braces fitted. Um, I was so scared that whole week. The thing is, like, I've always wanted braces. You know what I'm saying? I've always my teeth to be straight so it was kind of like a oh yeah i'm happy for i'm not happy for it as well because i'm the type of guy i don't like pain so anything painful like i just won't do it I, it's not it's not the fact that i won't do it it's just like I, I i just don't like pain so i was scared and i was happy at the same time it was a mix it was like a mixed emotion type feeling and i don't know how to really explain it because it was just it was just a lot so for the whole week i was feeling nervous i was feeling like you know what I'm saying like i was going up to the point i was just scared because i was like yo i want Race is so bad, but I don't know how it's gonna feel. I don't know how it's gonna hurt. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's what everyone thinks like braces. Cause you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the, these metal things in your mouth. Everyone thinks like braces hurt. Braces are gonna pain. But you know what I'm saying? My experience with braces so far has actually been alright. I've actually been able to deal with it. I'm surprised. Literally, I'm so surprised that I've been able to deal with my braces because the first, the first like first week. Yeah, the first week I was, I was the first, not the first week, like the first or the second day. I was thinking. I can't have these in for a whole year. Not even joking. I was like, I can't have these in for a whole year. But now that I've had them, they've come. You know what I'm saying? Now that I've got them, now that I've had them on for a month and I've really experienced how it is to have braces because I go to college every single day most. And you know what I'm saying? I'm always walking about. I'm always doing a lot of stuff. So to have these on and to experience what they feel like, I can actually say that they're actually worth it. You, to be honest, you, you probably won't even realize that they're there most of the time. You know what I'm saying? You'll probably just forget about them. A few hours before we went to the hospital, I never I never did any research on braces. I never did no research on what to eat. I never did no research on, you know what I'm saying, how to look after your teeth with braces. Obviously, you got because I brush my teeth like twice a day. You get me? You don't want your teeth looking like this, you know what I'm saying? So, I've always, you know what I'm saying, looked after my teeth and made sure my teeth are clean because, you know what I'm saying, when you're around a girl and that, and girl don't like dirty breath and, you know what I'm saying, smelly breath and that, so you always got to push your teeth, you know what I'm saying, okay? You know what I'm saying, trying to look after myself, so that wasn't a problem, but I've never understood how to clean yourself. With braces, because obviously, there's certain things you have to do to make sure your mouth's clean. Obviously, so I never knew that. So, like, like literally, like two to three hours before, little, it was actually, I was eating an egg sandwich 
right before I had to go, my dad was cooking my, my breakfast for, for me and oh, he was cooking an egg sandwich and I was just researching what to need, what I need to do, things I need to do. And he came in and he was like, yo, he was like, oh, you should have done this before. But why, why are you wasting time now? Why are you doing it now? Oh, this is that. He's like, you should have done it before. And I, to be honest, I should have done it before, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really get, to be honest, I had time. But it wasn't on my mind to be like, oh yeah, I need to research my brace. Now that I've got them on, it's calm, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fine. The waiting, like, we waited about half, was it half an hour? About 15, yeah, 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 about 15 to 30 minutes, like, until they call you in to do the braces. So we're waiting outside, sitting around now, I'm thinking, I'm just, I'm, at this moment in time, I'm like, I gotta get them anyway, so, but there's no point in me moaning and, you know what I'm saying, doing all this, you know, because I gotta get the braces, somehow my teeth have gotta be straight, so if I have to go through pain, man, I have to go through pain, get me, like, it was just a thing where I was like, yo, I gotta go through it, so, I went to hospital, waiting for about 15 to 20 minutes, they called me in, and then I was just sitting in that chair. I was lying back, you know, I was lying back and I was thinking, nah, man, I can't do this. And then I was like, is it gonna hurt? To be honest, I never asked that question. The first time I went to the guy and he said, the next time you come, you're gonna get braces. I always thought, it's gonna hurt. I asked the question, it's gonna hurt. And he, and he said, yeah, it is. But the thing is, my doctor, the doctor that I see, he loves to play games and like, he loves, he loves, you know what I'm saying? He loves to just take the vic, so I never do if he was telling the truth or that. And when you watch them YouTube videos, they don't really do nothing for you because you're not experiencing yourself. The type of person to be like, if I can't experience it myself, I don't know how it's gonna feel. Someone could be like, oh yeah, braces hurt, braces are fine. But until I actually feel the pain, I can't do nothing about it because I'm just gonna be like, Oh yeah, but you know what I'm saying, your pain tolerance may be different to mine. I, you know what I'm saying, I might be able to handle the certain type of pain that you can handle, you know what I'm saying, the certain level of pain. So I've always been the person that to believe that if I can't handle it myself, if I can't if I can't you know what I'm saying, experience the pain myself, then there's no point telling me about it because I'm not gonna listen to you because I'm just gonna be thinking, oh it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? So that's happened now and the guy I was in I was in there for about 45 minutes, literally sitting down, the guy was drilling out my teeth, he was cleaning off my teeth, he was drying my teeth, and then he started stick to be honest, I don't really remember anything. And I had these glasses on as well because the light. The light is shining your is shining your eyes and that is quite bright, so um yeah, so that happened and he was sticking on the so yeah, he was cleaning my teeth, he cleaned my teeth, he dried my teeth off because obviously with the glue in that, they can't put like glue on wet teeth, so you have to clean off my teeth, dry my teeth. And before you actually, yeah, before I, I read a tip, I got some Vaseline, yeah, I got some Vaseline and I used this, I used this at the hospital. So before you get your braces on, make sure you're vaccinating your lips wow you know what i'm saying i kept this in my pocket when i went in there as well just in case like literally i sat down and i started doing my lips because i was like i'm not having dry lips and the amount of videos that i watched of people saying that they got dry lip after it was i was not, i was like nah i'm not having that so make sure you bring vaseline or any type of thing that you use to you know what I'm saying make sure your lips are not dry you know what I'm saying that will just help you out but yeah so i used that and then I just sat there for about 45 minutes, weren't really complaining because I wanted to get it over and done with to be honest. So after everything's happened now, he's put the things on my mouth, he's put the brackets on my mouth, he's glued them on, he's dried them, he's put the wiring. The last part, the wiring. Yeah, the last part of the wiring, yeah, he's put them on now and he's closing them up. You know what I'm saying? At this moment in time, I'm thinking, yo, it's about to start. You know what I'm saying? He's closed them up my teeth now, he's closing up my teeth and I'm thinking, it's gonna hurt in a few, it's gonna hurt like in an hour or something. So that's happened. And then the mad, the thing is like, I've got them now, it was like I'm done. So I'm thinking, wait there, wait there. Cause I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Where's the pain coming? Cause I've been waiting for this pain. Not as in like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I want the pain to come, but I've been waiting for this pain to the point where you know I'm saying, where's the pain? like. I'm expecting pain, so I'm expecting the pain now. And the woman's like, no, 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 the pain ain't coming yet. You know what I'm saying? The pain, you know what I'm saying? You won't feel it yet, because you know what I'm saying? The brace has just been put on. Just saying, nah, nah, the brace, you know what I'm saying? You won't feel 
you know what I'm saying? You won't feel any pain. But for now, I was shocked. The only thing bad about it was that my mouth couldn't close. Basically, but basically, he put like clay. The last two from both of my sides, he put like a bit of clay on there. And that's because my mouth can't shut properly. He doesn't want my mouth to be closed. You know what I'm saying? Because. We like, I have like a, a bite, like a bite like this, I'm saying, where it's like, it's just, normally your teeth are supposed to be like closed in, like this, this is your, the bottom teeth, this is your top, it's, it's supposed to be like this, so he put like clay at the bottom of my teeth, so my mouth couldn't close for like a week, week and like, week and a half really, and I had to really get used to it because I couldn't talk properly, I had a bad list, and to be honest here, the first day I got braces, was the, the was the funniest day ever because I started coming up with things that I've never said before, started doing things that I've never done before. Like I, I made up this um not a word but this phrase, like this phrase. I made up this phrase just because I got braces. I was like, Glissa! you know, basically the first day I got braces, I thought I had diamonds in my mouth, as in like a joke thing. But I thought I was like, yeah, man got the diamonds. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, man's got the diamonds in my mouth, and now you get it, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking, yeah, man's got diamonds now. I was thinking, you know what? Let me let me just make a phrase. Let me just make it like a little joke out of it because you know, so you're gonna have these in for like a year, and if you don't like them, you know, what I'm saying it's a, you know, what I'm saying you're gonna have to get used to them. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to get rid of these. So the only thing I can do is, you know, you know what I'm saying, just get used to them and make sure that I'm happy with them. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like unhappy with them. To be honest, you will get used to them so they won't even affect you. But if you're worrying about, you know, saying, oh, how am I gonna look? Trust me, you're not gonna really notice. You know what I'm saying? Unless you can't look in the mirror 24 7 and see yourself, you're not really gonna notice. You know what I'm saying? For the first week, you'll notice because you'll be like, you, know what I'm you can't close your mouth, you're having this. You know what I'm saying? You can't do certain things, you can't eat certain foods. You realize that, you know what I'm saying, the braces are there. But after a while, it will just wear off and, you know what I'm saying, you'll just get on with your day normal. You know what I'm saying? You go to school, do whatever you, you know what I'm saying, you'd go and do whatever, whatever you need to get done, you'll be able to do it. So, yeah. So that happened. I just put the brace so I've got up off the chair now and I'm thinking the pain's gonna come soon. The woman's like nah nah nah. So cool, I was like cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm testing out my teeth and buttons, you know what I'm saying? To be honest, sir, I thought they looked alright. To be honest, my teeth over a month, my teeth have moved so much like there's one, there's one tooth. One tooth yeah the size. Um like a space between the two teeth. Not moved fully into position but it's, you know, so it's gradually getting there, so I'm really happy about that because that was one problem that I had. I could not smile, literally, because there was like a space. Half my mouth would be fine, and then the other half would just be messed up, so I couldn't do that. But the first week, the first week, all you gotta do is make sure you're taking painkillers. When it starts to hurt, I'm talking strong painkillers, not them. You get the strong ones. I don't know really what they're called because you know, say I'm not a guy that uses tablets all the time. So when I need them, I just get. But yeah, make sure you get the strong painkillers because you don't you want it to wear off. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that. You know that pain because it's not like a pain where you can't you can't talk, you can't eat no food. It's like a it's like a it's an annoying pain. You know you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna annoy you to the point where you can't cope with it but it's gonna you're gonna know that it's there so you want the pain to just go away so make sure you get the strong painkillers um i had painkillers the first week actually the first week i never had painkillers imagine that literally i never had i was i had to suffer with pain but this is what i'm saying like i don't like pain so me having to suffer a whole week without painkillers was crazy and then i realized my teeth are gonna be aching and we forgot painkillers so you know what I'm saying a week later and we got painkillers I'm thinking you're know, a waste of time now hey when you got braces on the metal brackets yeah I don't know if they're metal are they metal I don't know but when you got braces on and you got ulcers and they're all being together <laughs> it's not the one mate <laughs> it's not the one you're gonna be in some pain so I've just been suffering with a painful mouth for the longest time I could imagine and whenever we go there we always forget the bonjela when the ulcer comes back it's gonna pain me now my teeth can close so it's been it's been crazy my teeth can close now but the first week I had them on the clay was there so my mouth couldn't close my teeth couldn't close and every time I wanted to speak I couldn't get a word out because obviously you need your list you need it 
you need your lip. The way that I talk, I talk quite fast, so it was not getting there in time. So I was just thinking, yo, I can't talk, man. It's actually getting on my nerves because my lip was rubbing against the brace and the bracket, and it was getting on my nerves. My skin was peeling off. To be honest, yeah, the first week your skin might peel a bit. You know, saying your skin might feel horrible. Now my skin's all right. I had soft foods like bread. I had a lot of soup. I had. I probably had soup for about three, three, three to four days. I had yogurt. Um, I tried toast. Toast was the wrong idea because I thought toast was soft because you know what I'm saying obviously bread soft. So when you're brushing as well, make sure you get. A, I still don't have an electric, so I need to get one of them. They definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. I definitely recommend getting an electric toothbrush. You guys want your teeth to be clean, and it just stops you rubbing up your teeth hard. You, you know what I'm saying? The toothbrush does all the work. It just goes around. I still don't have one, so I need to get one. Of them my life will be a lot easier for <laughs> my life will be a lot easier it's braces has just been crazy the first week i couldn't talk work at work for the first week was funny funny because i couldn't talk my mouth couldn't close and as well every time that i met someone but every time i met my friend or you know what i'm saying a person in college that i knew i tried to close my mouth if my mouth was open if my mouth couldn't close my lip couldn't close i tried to close my mouth quickly you know what I'm saying? just so they didn't see the braces because my teeth were like my teeth were out just because my lip just because my teeth couldn't close so i always tried to keep my mouth closed and that was like a that was like a problem i did that for like a week too to be honest i don't really notice it to be honest i'm gonna be really happy when their braces are off because i can't deal with these braces anymore if I've, literally i've only had them in for a month i got them in for a month and a month and a half no, I got on it. <laughs> I got them in for a year and a half. I don't think I'm gonna last a year. As in, like, I feel like my teeth will be done in like a year. I don't think my teeth will be done in like a year because I can't. I, I don't mind waiting, but if they can get done faster, then you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a good thing as well. But um, I just had a lot of things to do with braces like the first week. I do recommend that you follow their rules because me for not following their rules, I don't know what could happen later down the line. You know what I'm saying? My, one of my, you know what I'm saying? My brace could fall off just because of the sugar or something. So I definitely recommend you guys following their rules and following everything they recommend you to do because not the way that they want them to be. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't eat sweets, don't eat chocolates. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna drink fizzy pop, that's the one thing as well I learned. If you're gonna drink fizzy pop, make sure you drink it with a straw, just so that the sugar doesn't get like between the, sh the gaps in your teeth and also on the braces as well. I recommend if you're gonna drink fizzy pop or fizzy type of drinks, or even sugary, sugary drinks, make sure that you use a straw because we really don't want the teeth to be, don't want the teeth to be. I heard that at the end, when they take them off, some people just have like you know what I'm saying just round things around there and like, I don't want that I want my teeth to be clean white you know what I'm saying so I recommend you guys to follow everything that the doctor and the dentist says because you guys really don't want horrible teeth so guys my camera died but if you guys like this video make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button and make sure you comment down below what you guys thought of the video I'd love to know also click the notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a video I'll catch you in the next one Cheers!